Good evening, everyone. My name is Emmanuel Ajama, a student of Masters of Art in Teaching with Technology. For my capstone, as you can see the title, a Nigerian secondary school goes Google. I decided to do something that will directly impact on the lives of people who are miles, thousands of miles away from here. So I will tell you how it all went down. <laughs> I'm a technology integrationist at Central Vermont Career Center in Barry, Vermont. So basically what I do is to support teachers and students on the use of technology in school. As you probably must have noticed from my accent, I was not born in Barry, Vermont. <laughs> I was not even born in Vermont. I was not even born in the United States. So can you guess where I was born? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so I grew up here in Nigeria. Nigeria is a country, most populous country in Africa, actually, uh, with diverse language and diverse culture, and divided from Muslim North and then Christian South. And I was born in this little city called Aba. Aba is in the southeast of Nigeria. And I had my education right there. And after I graduated, I went back and became an educator still. So I know the Nigerian school system very, very well. I was trained there, and I worked there. So Nigerian school system can be roughly said to be like one, the kindergarten, one year of kindergarten, six years of primary school, six years of secondary school, which is three years of junior secondary and three years of senior secondary. And of course, four years of post-secondary school, that is college or university. And you can go ahead and do post uh, graduate course. But this is the Nigerian school system. And I know this system very well because I have been there. I have served in different positions in the Nigerian school system as an administrator. So I know this system well. I know the issues and the problems facing Nigerian school system. And one of them, one of the major issues with Nigerian school system is um, they are still very far backward in using technology. So don't get me wrong, Nigeria has done a lot in improving technology. In fact, there are some schools in Nigeria that can compete with any school in the world in using technology. They, have been, they are so advanced. In fact, one of the schools got a surprise visit, visit from Mark Zuckerberg some time ago. <laughs> so these kids, they do coding, they do programming. I mean, these are little kids in Nigeria. This school is in the south, uh, west of Nigeria, a city called Lagos. But don't fool yourself. This is not what the whole school in Nigeria looks like. It actually looks like this. Most schools in Nigeria actually looks like this. They still use pen and paper. They still have blackboard and chalk. In fact, some of these schools don't have a single computer device in those schools. Yes. But there is a third group. You know, when we talk about digital divide, what comes to mind is always <coughs> the difference between the, those who have access to technology, access to digital divide, and those who have not. But there is a, a third group, and I call them the new digital divide. There are those who have access to technology, but they don't have the knowledge and the skill to use this technology to support learning in school. So even though they have the device, they don't use it. So I decided, here comes my capstone. That is what I will do. I will bring Google to this group. And that is what I did for my capstone. 
I brought Google Apps for Education to a school in Nigeria. We know what Google Apps for Education is. We use it right here. In fact, all of you use it in this school. So we know how it is so good in collaborating with stud uh, among students and staff. This is a powerful tool. So that is what I did. I decided to start with at Urban Secondary School. Urban Secondary School is a school that I'm invested in. I know the principal of this school is a good friend of mine. I know the teachers. In fact, each time I go to, I go to Nigeria, I visit this school and visit with the teachers. So it's always nice to visit them. So I know them. And this school have done fundraising, and then they built a house which they called Information and Communication Technology Building. In this building, the halls, are, the rooms in this building are stuffed with devices. They have technology, they have internet, but they don't have the skill, they don't have the, the expertise to know how to use this to support their learning. And that is where I came in. That is where I came in. So, I helped them. I became like a middleman. This is the principal and the Google reps. So, I applied to Google on their behalf, registered their domain name, and then gave Google all the criteria that they require in order to give a school um, the education edition. And then they were granted the education edition. And right off, I started creating individual user accounts for the student, for the teachers, first of all. But I wanted to be sure that this project is sustained. So I focused my attention on a particular teacher called Gregory. I wanted him to carry this project forward. I don't want everything to depend on me. Because when the teachers and the students start using Google Apps, they will have questions. They will need someone around who can answer those questions. So I focused my training on Gregory. And then we started, I used Google Classroom for the training because I wanted him to see how it works. So that when eventually he creates his own classroom, he will understand what his students are seeing because he has been there as a student. So I used Google Classroom as a platform in our training. And then we collaboratively, uh, collaboratively created a Google site. This is the, the start of the Google site, a Google training site, and then this is the end. So I did this with him. This website will serve as a resource for, for beginners, because they are all beginners there. So they will come to this website to learn the basics of how to use Google Apps. And then in this website, I linked off other tutorials, uh, the Google Learning Center, so that when they are very comfortable with the basics, they can then dig deeper into those um, resources. But as beginners, they will start with this website. And after some time, he was a little bit comfortable. He, he, he was excited and decided to give it a shot and train some other teachers. I created accounts for them, and they logged in, and he showed them how to log in. They did the first session, just logging in into their Google accounts. And then the second session, they created Google, uh, Do Google Docs and collaborated among themselves, just to see how it works, just to know how it works. So the project was going. And after some time, he, he decided, why don't I start immediately and, you know, log in my students. So I created accounts for his students, and then he brought his students to the lab, and then they logged in. Some of these students have never, ever sent an email in their lives. Some of these students have never even used um, technology, have never even used email. But now they can log in, now they can collaborate with each other. At least email at least. 
So, my capstone was like a foundation, <coughs> a solid foundation for this big project. It was like the first phase of the project. My intention, my hope is that all of the students and all of the teachers at Oran Secondary School will get excited and, and will be using Google Labs for Education. They integrate it into their um, course curriculum. So that will be my long-term goal, and that will be the fruits of my capstone. And the way things are going now, we are heading towards that because the students and the, the, the teachers in particular are all excited about this too. So as I wrap up my capstone, it is the journey begins for them. The journey of using technology in their classroom. The journey of integrating more technology in their classroom begins. So my capstone ends where their own journey begins. So moving forward for me, thanks to Kelly, I was able to find uh, links to Google Grants. So my aim is the work I did for my capstone, I will use that and apply for this grant for Google. And if this grant is approved, I will use that money to get more devices for them, improve their infrastructure so that their bandwidth will be faster. They will have faster internet and they will enjoy their experience using Google. And then in the long run, I will hope that the students of Auburn Secondary School and my students here at Central Vermont will collaborate in, on projects. And it will be beneficial to both students. It will be beneficial for both schools. So I can confidently say that Marlborough College is an international school. <laughs> because, yes, because the work we do here at Marlborough, this is one of them, the work we do here at Marlborough directly impacts the lives of people halfway around the world. So I am proud of this school, and we all should be proud of ourselves because we are authentically international school. So thank you very much for listening. <laughs>